Should men wear a wedding ring? Everyone has an opinion, and here's mine. Absolutely not. I do not want my husband wearing a wedding ring. Let me tell you, when a guy walks into a bar and he's wearing a wedding ring, every single woman goes, ooh, what does he have that someone wants? <laughs> Every single woman wants to know what they have. Do they have money? Are they good in bed? <laughs> Can they clean a house? No, I'm joking. Nobody cares about that. Money pays for that. <laughs> And if you have money, women clean the house. We're not going to complain. Yeah, right. I'm joking. We are going to complain because we complain about everything. If you have money and pay for everything and we get to buy Chanel purses, we will complain about the bag that they put it, the Chanel purse in that was defected because we do like to complain. And thanks guys for always giving us things to complain about. <laughs> but I will tell you, I literally do not feel like my husband should be wearing a wedding ring because I think it's a magnet for women. There's a couple of things. Some women only want to date married men because it's the easy way out for them. It's like they don't have to have someone up their ass all the time. They get someone to take them to dinners wine them and dine them and then go home and leave their jeans on the floor for somebody else to pick up, AKA their wife. Do you see what I'm saying? Like women who date married men get the best of both worlds. They get the gifts. They get the, you know, they get to only have sex when they feel like meeting up with the married guy. <laughs> and then they get to send them off home to their wives to deal with the daily shit. So you would consider them the lucky ones, but we look at them as home wreckers. Why do you want to wreck our home? Why do you want to be with our husbands? We work so hard for them. And that is the truth. Married women work so hard to keep you happy because we love you. Uh, I'll say last week on my podcast, I mentioned a book that you can read that tells you the reasons men cheat or people just in general cheat. And I said, I don't want to hear why it's my fault that my husband cheats on me. Okay. Or if he did, why? Oh, and I take response. No, 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 no. I'm not taking responsibility, but I got some comments about that. I had people say things to me like, Betsy, just so you know, women cheat more than men. Betsy, it's not just men that cheat. Women cheat too. But guys, I, I get that. I know that women cheat. I know it's a really large percent of women that cheat. It could be more of a higher percentage than men. I don't cheat though. I don't want to be cheated on and I don't cheat. <laughs> I'm a loyal little bird. Um, I don't cheat because I have respect for my husband and I would never want to embarrass him like that. And I would hope that he would never want to embarrass me like that. Like, leave me, <laughs> just leave. And I will watch TV and I will get to pick my own TV shows if you leave. So just leave me and let me watch the reality shows that I want to watch, please. <laughs> But I just want to address to all the people that were like commenting and DMing. Guys, I am aware. We know women cheat. I'm shocked. You know, if we're talking about wedding rings, guys not wearing them. I don't want one on my husband. It is not keeping anyone away. That's how I feel. It's not keeping anyone away. It's attracting people to him. As far as me, I want to wear a wedding ring. Like, sorry, I'm not taking my wedding ring off because I'm trying to keep you away because I don't cheat because I don't want to cheat because why would I want to cheat on my own husband and have to put another dish in the dishwasher? Like why would I want to cheat on my own husband and have to put another load of laundry 
in the washer, then the dryer, then fold it. Like, why do I want to have to watch another show that another guy wants? Like, please, why do I want to do these things? I already do things with one man. And I get it. You're like, we'll just meet him at a hotel and you don't have to do those things. People, stop. This guy will be hooking up in the hotel. He'll jump up and be like, oh shit, gotta get home. And where's my keys? Where's my key? You know, guys, you know how you are. <laughs> you all have a penis and you know that you can't find your keys and you don't know where the mustard is in the refrigerator. And you literally, <laughs> I have to remind my husband for years now, the same things and it's always in the same spot. And he still is like, uh, where would one find one meaning you, you would find it in the same spot it's been in for 10 years. <laughs> like, I don't want to have to do that anymore because I'm tired. But I will say that wearing this wedding ring does not keep men away. And I am shocked. I would, <laughs> I, I went to have to like a, a photo place, printing place, to have a passport photo taken because I'm traveling with my husband and my passport's expired and he's having a heart attack and I never noticed those things he does because he wants to travel and I don't care about traveling. <laughs> and I go to have my passport photo taken. I'm wearing my wedding ring and I guess the guy that helped me was getting off of work and I was walking to my car and he's like, hey, hey. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I thought I forgot something. And he hands me his phone and goes, put your number in my phone. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I, like, mm -mm, I'm, I'm married. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I don't really care about that. Put your number in my phone. I want to take you out. And I was like, no, no, no. Like, I, I'm married. I don't cheat on my husband. And he's like, your husband never has to know. And I'm like, this guy <laughs> needs to be hit on a 20 year old, not my old ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> I was like, no, no, no. I just got in my car and left because he would not stop being so persistent. And I'm thinking here I am with a ring on. So yes, I wear the ring, but does it keep guys away? No. And guys, why, like, why do you want to date a married woman? <laughs> like, we don't want another dick. Like, why, <laughs> why try? Listen, some married women do. When it comes to men, my theory is one is enough. One is enough. One penis is enough. Thank you very much. I don't need someone trying to have sex with me one more time a week. I don't care if I enjoy it and it's good. <laughs> Just because Reese's Pieces peanut butter cups are good doesn't mean you want to eat 20 of them a day. Some of you are going to say, but Betty, I want to eat 20 of them a day. Well, good for you. Doesn't mean I do. <laughs> so one is enough. But women that date married men, I have figured out the best way to describe those types of women. Those are the women that would walk into a party with the coolest dress on and everybody would be like, oh my God, I love that dress. I love that dress. What is that dress? What is that dress? I want that dress. And she would be the one who would be like, oh, I forgot where I got it. Oh, I forgot what it is. And we would all be like, oh, okay, because we want it. It's like, for me, I'm not that girl. Like, if I'm at a party and I have a cool dress on and someone's like, where'd you get it? Do you, like, do you think I want to have to tell them at Target on the clearance section, girl? Like, no. <laughs> Nobody, because that's probably the truth. <laughs> Or at Macy's for 75% off with an additional 25%. Like, I don't want to have to say that. <laughs> Girl, I got this dress for $19.99. Like, 
at blah, 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 blah. I don't want to have to say that. But the thing is, I got to give you the juice, okay? I got to give the juice away. <laughs> but that's how I describe a girl that dates a married man. She ain't giving the juice. She's taking, baby. She's got the hot dress on. She's like, this bitch ain't rocking my dress. She ain't going to look as good as me. I'm like, bitch, I'll do your makeup the same way I did mine with the dress. Like... That's, you know, like how you know the difference of like who's cool, who's not, um, you know, just like the type of woman that would cheat. Um, but, <laughs> and it's a good thing my husband doesn't listen to this podcast because he would be like, my wife is crazy. <laughs> Who cares about this, Bats? But it's true. It's like women have to think about this. These are the things that we literally have to worry about and think about. And it sucks because we're all women. We should all be friends. We should all support each other. We should all be love, light, whatever in each other's lives, whatever that saying is. But by the way, you know, I just want to say that ah, I'm sending you light. You know, that saying because <laughs> like the, I'm sending you light is probably the most backhanded <laughs> thing anyone can say. But we all should be like, you know, cheer bears for each other. We should all be cheering each other on the sidelines. And it's unfortunate that we can't. And we should all have enough respect for each other and like know that there are enough people out there. Like we shouldn't have to like go be with someone else's husband. But I read this article about this girl. She was cheated on. And then she said she just had to just start dating only married men because she just wanted money. She wanted houses. She wanted all the glamour of things. So she was dating multiple married men, right? So it sounds to me like she may have been a high price call girl because she was building a house off of their money. But this is the thing. I remember thinking, like, what a bitch. <laughs> what a bitch. You were cheated on and you didn't like the way it feels. And now you're going to go do it to everybody else. And you're dating multiple men. <laughs> like, this is what I feel like I'm dealing with. <laughs> When you call me crazy, good. Because you know what? I am. If I have this feeling, I'm going to be uh, looking away, <laughs> going through some shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, she said that. And she said that she just felt like, um, you know, she didn't want to be in a relationship. She loved the easy street of being romanced by a man and like you know, the gifts and she was building a house. And I was thinking like, you know, she really does think she's got the upper hand here. But if she's building a house off of the money that they are giving her, even though wonderful, she's going to have a house that's pennies compared to what their wives have. So it's a joke. Like if you're building a house off of what five guys are giving to you, can you imagine <laughs> The house. So you're taking, so like, really, like, just go get yourself a guy that can just build you one huge house because I guarantee you these wives have quadruplet that little ass house you're building. So I'm just letting you know, <laughs> you might think you're winning, but you're selling yourself short because if they get divorced, guess what? Their wives are getting the house you're building. They'll figure it out. Don't you worry, girlfriend. Like, you're not going to be in that house anymore. <laughs> But yes, I'm aware that women do cheat too. And it all good. Like, do your thing. Like, that's what you want to do. I would not embarrass my own husband like that. He just doesn't deserve it. I don't need to be with him that bad. There's no, not Divorce is just not that big of a deal. Everybody does it. What, what, what does it matter? I just, like, out of a respect thing, wouldn't do it. But yeah, I get it. People do it. It is what it is. But I wouldn't humiliate my husband. Like, if you needed to leave, just leave. Like, who cares? Like, you have the freedom of, like, being with who ever you want with like yeah anyway I guess maybe I just don't feel that way so maybe I don't get it but I've never cheated on a boyfriend 
never cheated on boyfriend and I have been cheated on and let me tell you it does not feel good okay people like it just does not feel good I had a friend that I just had to stop being friends with she started dating a married guy and I thought oh like it's super I don't know it was just like I just thought, oh, I just can't like, I, you know, you start to think as a woman, like who you're surrounding yourself with. Like if she did that to her, why wouldn't she do that to me? Or one of my friends I introduce her to, or one, another friend, like you start to become <laughs> the fungus <laughs> that everybody's throwing the antibiotic on to get rid of. Does that make sense? <laughs> There's a non-joke for you. <laughs> um, this was my birthday week, and I usually do not celebrate my birthday because I'm like, I'm getting older. <laughs> and as you know, for women, it's fabulous to get old. Every guy's like, ooh, how old is she? 75? She's smoking hot. I want to hook up with her. No. <laughs> Every guy's like, ooh, look at her ass. It's sagging to the ground now. She's so old. I want to get with that. <laughs> so, but I'm always like, oh, I'm getting older. I'm getting older. But I lost one of my friends recently. And it was like, just like one of those things where she lived her life so differently than me or probably anyone that I know that lives their life. People live their life and like, 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 you know, and, and enjoy it and have balance. I don't have much balance. Um, I'm bad at balance. It's one of my worst things, but she celebrated everything. Like if it was your birthday, she was like, celebration. If it was her birthday, she was like, celebration. She threw a party for every single thing she could throw a party for. Like she, kept the band together like she was like the one and like when she passed I was like oh my god this is it was so shocking to me and it was like the one person who actually lived and celebrated life and actually loved life like just loved it um is not here and I was like you know I don't celebrate myself like I'm like I get like ugh, I'm just, nobody wants to get older it just is what it is we all are it's like there's no way around it right but I was like I need to celebrate myself more I need to and get over the fact we're all aging it is what it is and literally celebrate my birthday and I did I one of my friends was like, let's go to dinner. We'll double date for your birthday. I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I was like, my other friend has, my best friend has the same birthday as me. She's like, I just want to come over and drink and sit in a room and us all talk, not go to a restaurant. <clears throat> I was like, great. I'm picking up food. We had wine. We talked. It was the funnest night ever. And guess what we talked about? Anything and everything with a dick between its legs. <laughs> we talked about guys all night. <laughs> and it was so fun. Like, I think. Oh, and here's here is a good one. Here's a good one. I think I may have hooked one of my single friends up with one of my mom's doctors. But this is the funny <laughs> This is the funny part. My husband's in the room. We're all talking. And I'm telling my friend who's single. And she's like, I just want to meet like a nice, normal guy. Blah, blah. And I go, oh, my God. I took my mom <laughs> to the doctor this week. Because as you guys know, I'm at a doctor's appointment every week with my mom. I said, I took my mom to the doctor's this week. And she has the hottest <laughs> doctor ever. <laughs> like, you have got to date him. I was like, he's older and he's like tall. He's probably like early fifties. He's like tall, like, you know, has a good body. He's so good looking. And she goes, how do you know he's single? I was like, cause he didn't have a wedding ring on. <laughs> and then it, and I'm looking across the room of my husband and then I go, oh, 
Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know if he's single because my own husband doesn't have a wedding ring on. <laughs> like, you know what? I said, take my mom to the doctor for her next visit. Like, please help me take her. Even if he is not, we'll ask. <laughs> ask if he's single. Because that's the thing. I feel like you meet so many good looking guys as a single girl and no one wants to go up to the other person and talk to them. Like guys do not approach women. And I am telling you guys, if you see me at a bar, do not approach me. Like, I just, I don't want to be asked another question. Don't, <laughs> like, don't approach me and be like, well, are you happy with your husband? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm staying with him because he doesn't ask me. He, I'm used to his questions and <laughs> I've answered most of them. I have the answer. I don't feel like being asked 300 questions like, oh, what do you do? What are you up to? What do you like? What are your, oh, leave me alone. I'm married. <laughs> but you should go up to a single girl. <laughs> You should totally hit on a single girl. That is what is missing in society. It's like men are so scared, maybe, I don't know, of being shot down. Or it's just, I don't know if it's an LA thing or if it's an everywhere thing. <clears throat> Guys do not walk up to single girls and say, hi, what are you drinking? Can I buy you a drink? Like, yes, buy her a drink. Like, talk to her. We and and girls the same. Like I remember when I was single, if I saw a cute guy, I was like, "Hi!" Like I don't care. Like it's you have to like you can't sit there and assume that someone's just gonna talk to you. Like go after what you want. Why not? Like my friend is now probably coming to the next doctor's appointment with me to meet this doctor. But I told her, "Hey." If he's just one of those guys whose wife is smart and doesn't let him wear a ring, <laughs> then there's a lot of other hot guys in that office. I'm just saying, it is like, look, if I was single, I would be like, let me get a salad. Let me sit in the courtyard and pretend I just got done with a doctor's appointment. That's how many good looking guys are in that office. And that office is like going off. Everybody's so nice, so kind and so we'll see. I may have made a love connection on my birthday and I had a load of fun and I ate a shitload of food and I celebrated and I may have gained a pound on my butt. I hope because I need to gain a pound on my butt. <laughs> but this was a good lesson for all. I do think in life we do need to celebrate ourselves more. Even if you're a person who celebrates yourself already and lives like my friend did to celebrate everything, do it even more. We all need to do it even more. We all need to take chances. We all need to go out. And if we see someone that is cute, we need to wave and say hello. Don't pass up an opportunity to meet someone that could be compatible with you. Don't not walk up to someone at a bar who you see or walking down the street and say hi. Now they might run because serial killers do that, but who cares? At least you tried. Do you get the point? We all need to take more chances in life because life is short and we need to live it. And I don't know how we got off on this tangent starting with wearing a wedding ring or not, but I'm telling you now. <laughs> take chances, live. I'm trying. And I got to remind myself all the time. Enjoy. I planned a trip to Japan. I'm not a big traveler, but I went there and I love it. And I was like, you know what? Sometimes things in life have to go on the back burner and I have to enjoy. And we all have to enjoy, right? Not a new year's resolution. Cause you already know we don't follow those, but this is a life resolution. <laughs> change your life people take chances walk up to people say huh <laughs> ask where that bitch got that dress ask where she got it if she doesn't tell you walk away because she is nobody you want to be friends with because <laughs> i'm gonna be like girl 19.99 at target <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was really upset because I did buy myself a jacket from Target and it was $28. <laughs> and I was like, this is expensive for Target. Because <laughs> they get everything on sale, you know. But 
Anyway, that's the podcast this week. And as always, I would not have probably picked this topic if, and, and some things I wanted to clarify is yes, I know women cheat. Thank you for DMing me and letting me know. I am aware. I am aware some women need more than one dick in their life. I'm just not one of them. Thank you. I don't need to wake up to another hard on next to me. I'm good with one. One and done. One is enough. Thank you for listening. And I will see you next week. She's mad.